welcome back to Twy in game where we are going to play Black Desert Mobile one last time so that I can finally bring you the remaining ins and outs of the game that I have learned throughout this long period. This epic journey has taken us into four videos everyone, four videos. I don't think any game has taken this much time and effort just to show you the basics ins and outs of a game again don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so that you are here with me at 8 a.m mondays and fridays let's get started shall we so now that we're back onto this screen here we're gonna go next to amity it tells you how close the people are to you and that the people they know that know you like, I don't know this person, but I know her. And when they're blue, they're in a good relationship with you. And when they are red, they are in a bad relationship with you. When they're in a bad relationship with you, it just means that you have to talk to them a little bit more, you know, make them feel special. You want your people to feel special, don't you? So this is social. Uh, with social, it gives you your friends list. You could greet them. You could just press the greet all button. I like to do things one by one usually. Makes things more personable, not that anybody notices. You could go to their houses. This is your blood kin. I have no requests. I'm not good enough here, apparently. And the arrow just keeps pointing it out. You're not good enough. And then this is your adventure fame. All right, now that we've checked social, we'll go to guild. So I joined a really small guild here, just so that I can show you the quick ins and outs of the guild. So this is the guild. Uh, so this is the guild information here. Then you have the members list, your quests. With the quests uh, you would pick a task to complete and then you would do that task. Uh, this one here is attack 2000 enemies. Uh, with that I would just probably put my attack on auto and uh, attack while I'm doing something else around the house. Just watching out for those little treasure chests because I don't want to miss them. Then you have guild manage, shop, I could buy things. So as you can see in the shop, things cost like 2,000. And as you can see on the middle left, I only have like 10M. So that is going to take a while. But once I get my quest down, like here, as you can see, this quest will give me a lots of experience. And I'm sure I'll get some M from that. Guild skills. So as you can see, uh, in this guild, it's not really active. They have like a couple skills going on here for cannon knowledge, elephant training, and org skills. But I mean, there's only two people in this guild, me and one other person, and uh, I think I've had this game on for about 15 days now. I just haven't played it as much as I probably wanted to. Um, something I should talk about this game that uh, most games really don't have is this game has an Amazon Prime bonus. Now that is pretty sick. So if we go into the little present right here, it says log in with Amazon and you'll get an Amazon Prime bonus. Like how sick is that for a game to let you have a bonus for having Amazon Prime? That is like wicked awesome. The remaining time for that though is only 44 days. So I don't know if it'll still be here when you guys log in. I really hope it would though. All right, now let's jump into rank. You have your CP rank, your arena rank and your life skills rank. Uh, CP rank would be your combat power, of course. Arena rank would be fighting in the arena. I haven't really fought much in the arena, so my rank is non-existent. And when I say I haven't fought much, it just means I literally haven't fought at all in the arena. And then we got the life skills. Uh, that is uh, foraging, chopping wood, and mining which you yourself will have to do uh, out in the regular world, not in your camp. You can't do it in your camp. You have workers for that in your camp. Uh, you'd have to go out in the real world and attack. When I say real world, I don't mean real world. I mean, when you leave your camp in the game, that world. Okay, don't go around attacking people in real life. Be gracious and kind, okay? The world needs a little bit more people being gracious and kind. Then we have our world map. You can only auto path to certain places. I haven't really got enough um, regional progress. So in the world map, it basically tells you where you are. 
compared to a bunch of other places. So if I go in here, it tells me all the little different places that are around here right now all the way over here. There is like an auto path button here, but I can't use it because I'm in my camp. You cannot move while you're in camp. All right, let's go to story. So the story basically tells you where you are. I've completed this story. Now I have this story, but it tells me that I need to complete all the main story quest line first. Now here's something interesting. This is your log. In your log, you have all of these and you can actually re-listen to all of what they were saying before. They put so much work into this. I am so impressed you have no idea. It takes so long to do recordings. And I think that like as someone else who does recordings for a lot of the games that I play and like I just do it for fun. These guys did it like obviously for work and to make a really good game and they did and I really like it. It's just I'm so impressed of how much work that they put into this game. You could do a recording for a voice and you think it sounds okay but as someone who probably wants to get it a little better you might end up doing the recording five ten times and then uh, just to just pick one so I'm just really impressed on how much effort that they put into this game all right here's something really interesting okay like you can take screenshots but if you look at the bottom left it says sleep my phone is now in sleep mode and uh, sleep mode actually like it just kind of pauses your game for you and to get out of sleep mode you just swipe the sword up I don't think I've ever seen a mobile game with pause. <laughs> That's like most games out there have pause, but this is a mobile game that reminds me of like World of Warcraft and it has a pause button. You're in the middle of attacking something and you just gotta go. You can't keep your eye on your phone any longer and you just, you just gotta go do what you gotta do. Push that pause button. I don't think that'll work in like the group attacks though. Uh, when I say group attacks, I mean the expedition gateway. Now, as you can see that the bell in the top right hand side of my screen, this is uh, all the stuff that it's telling me that I can do right now. So I can get my free accessory. I can refresh this if I wanted to. Sometimes I don't spend any of my like special things like diamonds or whatever in most games until I get the layout of the game and see what I really should be spending my stuff on. I usually accumulate it and be like, oh, I can get this really good thing now that I probably wouldn't have got if I had just spent them leisurely. But uh, the bell tells you all the things that you might be missing in the game that you should probably be working on. I, I, I got some free stuff uh, upgrading camp. It's already in progress. Collecting tasks. Like, oh, I forgot to collect my tasks. That's really nice of it. And then I can claim this reward. Events, claim all button. Apparently it was claim all but one. And then we have the clock, which is in the top left here. With the clock, it basically just your daily login. By clicking the man in the tent, you can actually click and visit uh, some random people's camps. Yeah. Uh, as you can see the regional progress on the right hand side of the screen, I have 94.5%. That is just telling me how much in that region that I have actually completed. Like all the quests. I need to complete it before I can get the pass for the next area. I am so close guys, so close. I made notes on uh, what I should be doing for this game, like what I should tell you guys about. It ended up being like seven pages long. So I'm gonna click on the sword and the axe at the top right hand side. And this is your skill screen. It shows your different skills. And when I have books, I would use the books to upgrade those skills. As you can see, the levels of my skills, one's at eight, one's at nine. Equipment skills, or equipping skills. So as you can see, there's four here, and then there's three here, which is when I'm attacking, let's get out of here, which is the door. It'll take you back to the main screen. I could be attacking these guys here. Swipe it. And then it'll take me to these attacks here. And then swipe it. Yeah. That's how the attack works. Let me go back to the... Actually, I'm just going to jump into my inventory quickly here. So with inventory, uh, you would have your weapons, your armor, your jewelry, your 
gems, and this is the miscellaneous box here. Uh, it would have stuff like, I wonder if my being attacked is actually like affecting me now. Let me just jump out here. Alright guys, back up. So even though I was checking my inventory, as you can see my health went down so much. So much, okay. Let's get out of the horse. Down on the road. Ah oh, crap, there's horde on the Alright, I'm off the side, I should be good. Except the one guy that's coming for me. I will kill him and then I'll be fine. There we go. Alright, back to inventory. As I was saying for inventory, that you have all your different things. And this here. All this stuff is definitely good for something. Yeah, gifts. We love gifts. So when you're collecting and uh, collecting your rewards and there's more than one, you can actually say how many you want to collect and stuff. I really like opening treasure chests though. Alright, so you see that we got some books. Let's just jump over to that. Oh no. Don't you think you should carry too much stuff? Oh yeah, I wasn't paying attention to that, was I? Interesting. Oh, I didn't know about that though. My horse's inventory only has four slots. You know what I gotta do? I gotta... Let's first quickly do this and then I will... And this is to the area. So with skill upgrades, you can actually add a book onto a skill and upgrade it. This is the um, enchantment that I want to do right now. I could do this one as well, but it only equips one. So just keep that one. So most books are specific to each attack. So as you can see, only a couple of them lit up. So those would be the only ones I could have used it on. We gotta fuse some crystals together, because we definitely don't have enough room in our bag. Look at that crystal. It's amazing. And look at that, we have space in our bag again. Well, let me teach you about something that I'm sure you guys have all been waiting for. Attacking. So as you can see, each attack has either like the, the dash in between them. Let's go to a higher density. There's a lot of guys. Alright, this is what we're looking for. So in this area, uh, when you're attacking, as you can see, every time I attack, the light around it disappears a little bit because it actually has uh, cooldowns, but most attacks, like World of Warcraft, only have like one cooldown time, whereas these things like this one that I just used with the shield has two attacks before it, um, like it, it's completely needs to be used cooldown. But as you can see, as I'm using them, my character is so bad. This area is so highly density with monsters. You can just also just put it on auto attack. And then just watch her go. Now as you can see the map in the left corner. All those little yellow dots. If you haven't figured it out by now. Those are all monsters. There's also different things like explanation marks. And where your horse is. And where there are dungeons. Uh, that's all in the top left map here. I can expand the map. Okay everybody. So that's like everything that I have learned from this game so far. I had so much fun playing this game and I probably will still play it a little bit in the future. Uh, I highly, highly recommend if you're looking for a good quality game that this is the game you play. I don't usually highly recommend anything but this game is amazing. Especially for a mobile game. I would definitely even, even as I'm playing this game, I kind of want to just like throw some money into it just to say, hey, you guys made such a good game. All right, everybody, I just wanted to say thank you again so much for taking the time to go through all four parts of Black Desert Mobile with me just so that I could get all that amazing content out to you guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so that I see you at 8 a.m. every Monday and Friday, Mountain Standard Time. This is Twy in Game. Twy out. Take